welcome to this lecture of fluid mechanics we are covering the viscous flow and today we are going to solve a problem on newton's law of viscosity so let's begin so we have the problem here in a fluid the velocity measured at a distance of 75 mm from the boundary is 1.125 meter per second so let me show tell you what it's saying i will draw it we have a boundary assume this to be a boundary and at a distance of 75 mm from the boundary all right there is velocity there is a velocity The velocity is here is a velocity of 1.125 1.125 meter per second let this be u okay u be the velocity it is at a distance of 75 millimeters now 75 millimeters is 0.075 meters so from from here to here the distance is let the distance be y is 0 0.075 meter okay we have to find okay the absolute velocity or the dynamic viscosity of the fluid is given to be 0 0.048 pascal second as for second now we are asked to find the velocity gradient of this fluid to find the velocity gradient of this fluid let's assume the let's assume the velocity profile to be linear okay like this we are assuming a linear velocity profile okay this is a straight line without slope means this velocity profile is linear if we had something like this otherwise something like this okay this was not linear okay now linear velocity profile now we have to find the velocity gradient now velocity gradient is the slope of this straight line if this angle is theta then we know velocity gradient is denoted by du by dy okay which is tan theta okay because how do you find the slope of this line is tan theta gives the slope okay and that's the velocity gradient now tan theta is perpendicular which is u divided by base which is y okay which is equal to u divided by v which is equal to 1.125 meter per second divided by 0 0.075 meters right now meter and meter cancels out so we are left with per second only right so how much is this it is 15 15 per second right so we found the velocity gradient here d du by dy equal to 15 per second and before i go, move on i want to tell you if you want the pdf of this problem i have solved the this problem on a pdf step by step and you can get this pdf from the description or the comments you can download the pdf file there okay okay so we found the velocity gradient so we found a let me rub this now we have to find b b is find the shear stress right 
Now, shear stress can be found from Newton's law of viscosity because Newton's law of viscosity is valid when the linear when there is a linear velocity profile. Okay, since we have linear velocity profile, so we can safely apply uh, Newton's law of viscosity. According to Newton's law of viscosity, shear stress is denoted by tau is equal to mu multiplied by the velocity gradient that is du by dy right now you have this is the dynamic viscosity which is 0.048 pascal second multiplied by du by dy is 15 per second right so how much is it now this second and per second cancels out so we are only left with pascal so how much is it it is I think 0 0.72 pascals so that's it we found the shear stress to be 0 0.72 pascals so that's it for this class if you want to download the PDF it is in the description and if you have any problems please contact me and ask me and I will provide you the solution and also if you need the tutoring service I also offer tutorials online teaching courses to the students in fluid mechanics you can also contact me for that so that's it see you in the next class thank you